Hi, my name is Rowena and this is my planner. This is the um, Kiki K medium and I believe it's an ocean blue and I know they have a newer version where it has like the button closure um, but I got this guy on eBay and it has the strap closure just like all the lilac beautiful lilac <laughs> ones that are so hard to find um, so when you open it up you'll see um, we have just two pockets here and then a zipper pocket and then a bigger pocket back here I use this as my main planner and my wallet and it's working okay um, the it's starting to close in a little bit you can see it's kind of bending over here in the back because of the straps trying to keep everything in so here I have some washi tape on cards this is a Sephora card and Ulta card and these I've been using these like a lot I'm surprised how much I'm using them I just wanted them as a backup but this planner just goes everywhere with me that's why it's so far it's been perfect I just kind of wish it wasn't bending like that but anyways um, just some stickers and um, this card came with the planner here um, you can see I keep the pen in here this is the friction pen I keep that in here because it doesn't <laughs> get into this guy pretty well so I keep that in there and then um, and it works well like it closes fine without it or with it in there and I always have my pen handy and then I have just some quick notes here like calls I need to make and then here I wrote do what needs to be done on your list and you won't have such a messy planner because my lists pile up pretty well um, anyway so here I have um, first page here is my goals so I wrote um, when I started them when they end because they are gonna be met the goal description and then the duration and um, I just started doing that and I'm really hoping for good results and because I kept it in the front I'm hoping that of course I'm gonna see it more often and be more aware of the goals that I need to strive for so there's that and then next I have um, just some quotes. This is from a Powerade commercial. And this is from, I don't know where I saw this exactly, but I've always loved quotes. I even like try to keep a quote journal, but it was pretty hard to like, you know, reach for it all the time and actually read it, um, like be proactive in reading it. So this has been working really well for me as far as like being inspired by the quotes that um, I want to be inspired by and then this is from a target the do target dollar um, spot this is just like one of their like longer notepads that I just cut a piece of and then this is um, I just used one of the target they had like this really cute paper pad scrapbooking pad in the back or in the little office section and so I just took one of those cut them out made it into a flag um, what did I put behind? I think I used the, um, the repositionable, um, glue sticks from Craft to keep, put that on there. And then, um, but before I did that, I, um, stamped note on there. And then this guy is from the Kiki K as well. It came with it. And also, as I'm sure you've already noticed, I rounded every possible corner I could. This is probably the only one that isn't rounded. I'm sure there might be another piece, but I love the look of rounded pieces. Um, so I just have been using my rounder like crazy. <laughs> and then here's the calendar section. And these dividers just came with the planner. I just, uh, you know, their dividers are really hard to make. I give you ladies props. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever makes them, because they are not fun to make. And so if I could cut corners, and thankfully this planner came with, you know, several of them and a really nice color, one of my favorite colors, so that worked great. And what I just did is took some washi tape and just covered a little bit. I didn't go all the way, um, like notice in the back, I didn't go all the way just because I just needed it um, for when it's closed. It looks cute. So calendar, um, and then I have two note uh little sticky notes areas here and one and they're both from the target dollar stop and then i made these three dividers because i like to plan um and <laughs> i like to plan broken up like so um for instance so here in september 
I, so the first tab covers September and then the next tab covers, and then you'll see this is kind of going to the next one. Next one is the weekly and then the third one is the daily. So, um, and in between, so right in between here, these are like the older, but I mean, I started this in September, so these aren't older. <laughs> and then it has more monthly empty ones here. And then when you get past that guy, you'll see um, this. So I started a week on one page at first, and you can see how crazy that got. And I thankfully I had a friction pen to be able to make more space when I needed it. But um, I decided to make um, a week on two pages. So I'm gonna st I still have to decorate that and set it up for the week. And then um, next is the daily planner planning. And I made all these inserts. I really love playing on Excel, so <laughs> that's what I did. The way I made this was I um, I wrote the date, of course, up here. So here's a blank one. I guess that'll show you. This is a blank one. And I just write um, today so I can write the date and then the notes and then must list, to do list, should do, and want to do. Then my workout, meal planner, glasses of water, hours of sleep, and then. Um, running log of the day because um, say if I have an appointment at 3 o'clock I would need to make sure I'm out the door by 2 30 I would need to make sure my son is already and good to go you know by a certain time so this just helps me kind of lay out the time to make sure I'm out of the door and have a lot of stuff in here for the blog I want to make and then um, here is projects and then in projects I have no, 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 I'm sorry. I changed that from projects to um, serious <laughs> just because there wasn't enough space to put important, I guess. So um, these are like kind of bills I needed to do. Um, just more serious stuff, I guess. I don't know. And then um, lots and lots of lists, as you can see. And then um, fun. And then I really like this quote. Instead of saying I don't have time, try saying it's not a priority and see how that feels. So this was more to be for the serious part, I guess, but because when you open it, you see that it's, it's for both, I guess. And then fun, um, just like planner stuff. Um, like I got a laminator and I want to do more projects on it than just for my planner. And so there's a lot of sheets in there. Um, my son's birthday, trying to plan that out, trying to give myself um, due dates as well because I do really well on due dates. Um, I have like a phone download list. And then also you can kind of see here how it's all splotchy. I've dropped coffee on a bunch of the inserts. And also, oh, one thing I wanted to point out, um, I made all the paper, I made all like the bullet, bullet paper, um, the inserts, all of that. And so what I also, and then I rounded them, all that great stuff. What I also did was I actually cut a slit in every, um, in every hole because I, after about two days of using this planner, like my hands were hurting. Like I did not like going back and forth and opening up these rings and I was like, oh, I like, I like this planner. I want to use it. It has such big rings. It's a beautiful color. And um, I was just feeling like, okay, I might not be able to use it anymore. So I decided, because I had the Mombi planner, and if you know the Mombi arc planning system, all of the papers have slits through them so that they can detach and attach extremely easily. And so, I took from that basically and you can see like there's nothing to worry about in here like these oop, that came out <laughs> well that guy almost always comes out oops sorry I'm like one-handed okay I'm gonna do that anyways it's just the ruler that came with the planner and um so that's how I did that I didn't do it to the um to the dividers just because if I I mean, I can move the papers pretty easily and they're already in order, so there's really no need really to move the dividers. Um, 
And then um, these are reference, like before bed tidy up. Um, how to go to bed early. I just made one here because I struggle with going to bed earlier. Pretty bad. Um, my son's favorite foods. Um, all that. And then next I have expenses. And then I just have a log in here of how I um, am spending my money. And then I also make notes afterwards, um, like a week, like for instance, I think there's a little bit. So I just, <laughs> I just made this because I made this for August in my Holborn, um, Filofax Holborn planner and I was using it amazingly and I was not spending as much money and because I was transitioning to this planner and still making all the inserts, I um, hadn't gotten around to making these and I could feel it. My bank account felt it. Like I was, I was not taking care of my money because I was not basically tracking it. So I got back to writing it down and so that is going to be written down more often of course. Fitness and nutrition. Um, so I have a little plank challenge that I want to do. And then I have the Kayla, um, oh, I don't know how to say her name. It's Signs Bikini Body Guide. And um, I've already finished week, week five, but I have not done these in like, oh goodness, like I'm probably going on two months. So I am struggling with that and I need to get back on that. And um, I just have, um, let's see, I have a meal tracker and I just write down, oh goodness. I write down what I eat and then here I have like my check-in, um, sort of. Like I'm just trying it out, we're gonna see how that goes. But um, I have stamps and I like to like I mean, it was one thing to track yourself, but you also have to interpret it um, in your own way too. So I put this for like, you know, obviously it was a very junk foodie type of day. Um, and I have fruit stamps as well, and I'm gonna stamp those on the days that I was a lot more healthy. Um, so there's that. And then, so I have a bunch of those, and then I have a meal planning insert here. And I have a lot of these and um, I probably only need a few right now so I can take some out to make space. But um, this is just so that I can actually have ideas and actually have a place to put ideas for food when they come up. And then here, as I mentioned, this is my main planner and wallet. So I have um, receipts that go in here. And then I have cards, ID. Um, and I have coupons in there, coupons in here, and then I have, um, what is this? Oh, it's from going over the bridge. And then I have just a little pocket of cash and I don't really reach for that, it's just kind of like emergency money, I guess. And then I have more notepad paper in here, um, filler paper in here when I need it because I'm constantly making lists like if I have a, if I have an idea it's usually something that requires several bullets and checklists things like that so they're all here safe for me to use um so yeah that's my planner I just um it's been working really well and I really love it like I said the only thing is I just don't like here let me try to close it with one hand Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Okay. Did that work out? Nice. Okay. So the biggest thing is like, it's just kind of concaving in as you can see that. And, um, and I've only been using this for like, hmm, maybe a few weeks, honestly. So the fact that it's kind of doing that already does not make me too confident that it is gonna um, keep its shape for much longer. Um, but otherwise, I love this planner. I love how I'm using it. Um, it's been working really well. Like I said, I just need to work on that tracker for um, money right now. Um, so yeah, there's that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.